assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to study paracetamol poisoning it is taken from parekh chapter 59 so first of all we need to know that the toxic metabolite that causes all the um, signs and symptoms is known as phenacetin the signs and symptoms in acute poisoning does not behave like that of aspirin so there are no um, dangerous signs and symptoms there are three stages when it is taken at the dose of 20 tablets of 500 mg for three to five days the paracetamol is proved to be fatal there are three stages first is gastrointestinal stage the second one is known as latent stage and the third one is known as um, hepatic failure stage. So in the first stage, there are mild symptoms such as those of nausea, vomiting, and the patient is in full consciousness. that is why um, it is often uh, it often leads to a false sense of security that the patient is going to be okay the second stage occurs after 24 hours the first symptoms that appear is anorexia epigastric pain and malaise but the patient still is a little bit pain free the third stage starts after about three to five days the symptoms would include liver failure renal necrosis then there may be cerebral edema there may be GIT hemorrhage and there may be cardiomyopathy so as you see that there are different um, organ failure now we are going to see how is the patient managed when a patient of paracetamol poisoning comes to you you have to immediately admit him into the hospital this is the first step. Then you need to carry a gastric lavage within four hours. If the patient comes after four hours, it is of no use. Then you have to keep adequate hydration. The thing you have to um, keep in mind is that in paracetamol poisoning, there is fluid retention so you don't need to put too much water in the patient the next complication that occurs in paracetamol poisoning is that there is severe hepatic necrosis this may lead to hypoglycemia metabolic acidosis and bleeding disorders so you need to treat all these symptoms differently for hypoglycemia you can give dextrose infusion for metabolic acidosis you can give um, bicarbonate infusion and for bleeding you can give vitamin K the thing that you're going to do next is hemodialysis hemodialysis is done in um, in those conditions uh, when there is acute renal failure then you can do give an antidote you have to remember its name because it is uh, important MCQ and acetyl cysteine you can also give a hypertonic glucose if there is a case of um, cerebral edema next important thing that we need to know is what are the post-mortem changes or autopsy changes that we are going to see as we know that 
it is a case of paracetamol poisoning so there will be paracetamol remains in the stomach there may be jaundice because of hepatic failure there will be hemorrhages more commonly known as petechial hemorrhages there would be GI bleeding there would be hepatic necrosis that's a liver uh, okay there would be kidney failure there would be cerebral failure and um, okay that's a bad brain but it's just like that okay the medical legal effects can be accidental if there is a dosage due to um, indiscriminate use of analgesic and antipyretic the patient may attempt to suicide but this is not common in pakistan or india it is more common in uk and usa and uh, due to long-term use uh, for example in patients of aids or tuberculosis to reduce pain it may lead to toxic hepatitis This is all you need to know about um, paracetamol poisoning. The main important points that are asked in exam are the three stages and its features and the fatal dose, that is 20 tablets, and the treatment. Thank you.